Hi everyone, uh, so today I'm going to be filming the uh, most worn summer things. Um, now I saw Lily Pebbles film this video, thought it was really good, quite similar to the I Heart summer tag, um, but I think it's always quite difficult to pick just one product that you've been loving throughout summer, so I thought this was a good opportunity to show you some other things that I've also been enjoying through summer. Um, so it's a mixture of things ranging from beauty to fashion, uh, so I will just get started guys. First of all, oh yeah, you have to excuse me because I'm like reaching down for things. And um, the first up is the um, my most worn nail polish. And um, now I'm going to cheat because there have been two products that I have worn for throughout the, the majority of the summer. First one, they're both um, Barry M nail polish nail varnishes, the um, jelly nail polish. Uh, and the first one is um, the blueberry shade. This is so, so gorgeous. Um, firstly, I really love the, the jelly nail polishes from, from Barry M. Um, they're really high shine, really glossy, um, and they're, they're quite thick, so they don't take too much to um, apply an even coat. And blueberry is one of my favorite shades. The other one is the lilac shade, um, which I have on at the minute, um, and I've been switching between the two really for the majority of the summer and also the pomegranate one, but for this video I'm going to stick with just the two, the blueberry and the lilac, and I think these are 5 99 I think, um, but you can get them from Boots, and regularly they have deals on where you can get three, um, three for two, or you buy two and then you get a couple of quid off the next one or something. And um, so yeah, Barry M nail polishes for nail varnishes. Next is um, Most Worn Hair Product. Um, now this was quite a tricky one for me because I use quite a lot of products in my hair, um, but the one that, since I've had my fringe cut in, the one product that I've been using all the time, every pretty much every single day, is dry shampoo. Uh, now I'm a big lover of Tresemme's dry shampoo, but I've recently been using the Batiste dry shampoo, and this is the Urban and Edgy Graffiti one. Um, it's a really nice, fresh fruity smell, um, very feminine, and yeah, been using this. This comes out really white in your hair, and I do know you can get the shades for brunettes, but I'm not really bothered about that. It rubs in really nicely, and this has just been, keeps my fringe bouncy and full throughout the day, um, and obviously it stops you having to wash your hair every single day. Next up is the most worn bag. Uh, now, it was a no-brainer for me. It is definitely this little baby. It is a leather kind of like crocodile finish, green, like, what's the colour? Like emerald green bag. Absolutely love this. This is from a vintage shop called Cow. Um, Cow Vintage, you can go and have a look on their website, check out their stuff. It's amazing. I'm a huge fan of shopping vintage and um, I think it's just really cool to be able to know that you're the only person wearing that piece of clothing and this bag, um, I'm not sure how much it was, but it's it's in amazing condition considering it's vintage, it looks brand new, and it's perfect because it's not huge, um, you don't want to be lugging around a huge bag when it's, um, when it's summer and it's hot, so this has been, it can fit loads in, but it's small enough to not be too chunky, and yeah, so I've been wearing that throughout the majority of summer. Uh, shoes, I've gone for um, sandals, like flip floppy sandals, because I thought, Really, I spend a lot of my time in, in boots and I can't really wear them throughout the summer um, even though I've been trying to, even when it's been hot. Um, but my mo the, the sandals that I've worn the most are these sandals from Emu Australia. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they're, they've got kind of like two straps, brown suede straps on the front and they've got this big, chunky, like silvery, metallic um, strap across the front of the foot and then this buckle that goes around the top and then just a little heel bit at the back but I really love these I think they just add kind of a bit of a more interesting pop to just plain outfit so if you're just wearing like a strap top and, and some shorts because it's so hot you just can't be bothered to make much of an effort really these make your feet look pretty and I think these are really cute these are from Emu as I said Emu Australia and these have been glued to my feet when it's been warm. 
my most worn piece of clothing throughout summer has to be dresses. Um, I live in dresses whether it's winter or summer, just in the winter um, I, I wear tights and in the summer I will sometimes get my legs out. Um, but one dress in particular that I've worn to a lot of occasions, like barbecues or events or anything like that, or just like going going out to the shops or really, anything, um, is this little dress from Mina Clothing. Um, it's just a gorgeous little skater dress um, with this lovely back detail, um, like cut out back and then a little button fastening on the front. And I absolutely love this dress. Mina is one of my favourite places to shop. Green is one of my favourite colours um, and I love the floral print on this. I get loads of comments on this dress when I wear it because it's just so pretty. Um, and it's really, really lovely quality. It's um, It's got a little kind of like slip underneath it so it's not see-through. And oh, I just really love it. I think it's so cute and I think Skater dresses are just so easy to wear during the summer. They're no effort. You literally just whack them on and you've got an outfit and you're ready to go. So that is my piece of clothing. Uh, what is next? Favourite accessory. Um, I love jewellery um, and I also love hats. So I couldn't pick one. Um, my two favourite accessories are my fedora hat that I'm wearing now. If you follow me on my blog or on Instagram or Twitter, you'll know that this hat is constantly glued to my head. I never take it off. Even when it's hot, it's always on and I've been wearing it all throughout summer. And secondly is, um, and this is from Topshop by the way, secondly is these little earrings. I wore this in my I Heart Summer Tag and lots of people commented on them and said they liked them. They're just little daisies and they're so cute. I really love them. They're a really nice size, um, really pretty, really girly. They're from Temporary Secretary um, and I th they're not expensive at all, just um, like five or six pounds maybe and I just absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. So that is them. Okay, next up is blusher. Um, my favourite blusher this summer has to be Nars's Desire. I've already started to hit pan on it. I love it so much. I know it looks really bright and bold, but it's really subtle on. I've got it on now. It just adds a really nice pop of pink to, to your face and just gives you a nice healthy rosy glow. And I love Nars blushes. They're amazing, amazing quality. And I wear this throughout the winter as well, but through summer, um, just with at work I've just been wearing kind of like concealer and mascara and just whacking a little bit of this on just to give me a little bit of colour and I just absolutely love it. I also love NARS packaging even though it gets really grubby because it's kind of like this rubbery consistency which is a bit annoying. Oh I've got an itchy nose! Um, favourite... Favourite lip. Now, one of my favourite lipsticks is the Avon Lipstick in Flirt that I've been wearing a lot throughout summer. Uh, also, another colour that I have been reaching for a lot is Rev Revlon's Colour Burst uh, Lip Butter in Tutti Frutti. Um, it's just a, a gorgeous orangey, corally shade, um, and it's just a really light sheer coverage. Perfect for summer. You don't want to be wearing like a heavy matte lipstick in, in the summer. It just melts off. And this is really moisturising, really pretty. It's got still got great pigmentation con considering it's just a lip butter. Um, but yeah, really love this. Uh, mascara that I have been wearing the most throughout summer is um, Estee Lauder's Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara and um, it's actually like a double up with a concealer on the end but the mascara is something that I have been loving this summer. I find that when I'm really hot I rub my eyes a lot and I get bothered and my makeup seems to like not stay as well obviously because it's hot and you're a bit sweaty and blah 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 but this mascara stays really really well. It's not waterproof um, but it has kind of like the same characteristics as a waterproof mascara. It stays on really well, it's really voluminous um, and it doesn't go flaky and cakey and horrible. It just gives really nice full lashes um, and it's quite easy to get off but it stays on all day so love that. Eyeshadow that I've been loving the most is, uh, is Maybelline's uh, 24 hour colour tattoo um, in pink gold. This is such a gorgeous shade. It's um it's a metallic-y finish. They're they're a cream 
eyeshadow and they're a dream to apply they stay on really well and um, I just love like the goldy pinky champagne colour um, that that this is and I think it's perfect for summer it's really subtle on your eyes but gives them a really nice glow um, and just makes them makes them pop a little bit and yeah really love this and lastly is perfume now um, I've pretty much hit pan on this is the Clarins Eau de Jardins um, perfume this is so so beautiful Oh, really fruity, really zesty, and I went into this in my iHeart Summer tag, but because I have been running low on that, I've stopped using it as much for the past couple of months, and I've um, started using my Agent Provocateur Eau de Parfume. It's their signature scent. I've got the little 25ml um, bottle. Now this I wouldn't class as a summer scent, but I absolutely love it. I love musky, woody, sexy smells, and this is the definition of that. It is so gorgeous. It's really... It's quite like talc and powdery, um, so very womanly, very romantic, um, very musky. And so it's not, I wouldn't say it makes me think of summer at all, but I've been loving wearing it. It stays on all day, it's not going anywhere. I sprayed it this morning and I can still, I can still smell it now, um, which just goes to show if you can smell it on yourself, then that definitely means other people can smell it too. Um, and I just absolutely love this. It's got comes with a little chain um, that holds the um, the perfume, so it doesn't spray in your bag. And um, so you can pull that off, and then then you can spray the perfume. And it's really nice because you can just have it in your handbag and not have to worry about it pressing anything. Um, so that is a perfume that I've been wearing daily to work and um, to work and in the evenings or just on the weekends. So that is that. Um, I did actually forget that foundation is meant to be included in this and you've heard me talk about it over the past few videos. My summer foundation is, is definitely Illamasqua's Skin Base Foundation. Um, if you haven't watched my other videos, go and watch my um, daily makeup routine or my August favourites and you can hear all about it there. Um, and that concludes the things that I have most worn throughout summer. Um, it's actually been, for England especially, a really lovely summer. I actually feel like we've had a summer this year, um, whereas previously we kind of get like one or two days that are sunny um, throughout the, the entire summer. We've actually had just weeks of continuous sunshine which has been really nice and um, so I'm happy that I've actually got to wear sandals and little dresses without tights this year because really a couple of summers ago, this last summer, the summer before, I wouldn't have even been able to film a video about what I've worn throughout summer because it would just be the same as what I've worn through winter. And um, so that's England for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please do let me know if there are any other videos that you would like to see. Um, I always like to hear what you guys think and what you want to see the most. Um, so thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you all soon. Bye.